So what's up guys I'm Mesh from Techmesh and hope you are doing well. So today I will show how to make your laptop battery last longer and fix laptop battery draining fast issue in Windows 10. By following this tutorial you can get longer battery life. It is applicable for all manufacturers like Dell, HP, SR, Asus, Toshiba, Lenovo and Samsung etc. So before getting started I would suggest you to please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one. So let's get started shall we? The video is separated into multiple steps and I would suggest you to follow all of these steps properly till the end to get the best solution. There is not one single solution that would work for all. So just try to do all of these steps with me. So the number one step is turn on battery saver. So what you need to do is just click on your battery icon here. Okay. And then here just drag it all the way to get the best battery life. Okay. So I know it is pretty basic. So I'm starting with it. So the number two step is turn off all program that you don't want running in background. So for that what you need to do is just here right click on your windows icon and then here select settings okay so in your settings just go to privacy and in privacy here scroll down all the way and select background apps so now here you would see all the apps that is currently running in your background continuously running in your background so if you don't want a particular app to run in your background then just turn it off okay just select it to off so that's how just take your time and just turn off as many app possible to keep running in the background so after doing that third step is click on notification icon and turn off bluetooth it is simple i know but the thing is just turn your bluetooth off i don't have my bluetooth in this pc my pc doesn't support bluetooth so i can't show you so if you go if your pc supports bluetooth then just make sure you turn it off when you are not using it. So the fourth step is search for services.msc. Okay. Just search for services. If you don't find it, just type services.msc and then you would definitely find it. And then just tap on open. Here, search for Windows search. Okay. It is sorted alphabetically. So just go to W. So here as you can see this is our Windows search. So just open it. Just double click on your Windows search. And then here what you need to do is. Just here you need to click on stop. You need to stop it. Okay. So then just here select on disable. And then just click on apply. And then click on OK. So when you need to enable it, just make sure you enable it. So it won't be continuously running in the background. So the fifth step is open gpedit.msc. Just here search for gpedit.msc. Okay. And then here just open it. And if you can't find gpedit.msc in your PC, then you can skip this step. Okay. So after coming here, then here you need to select administrative templates under computer configuration okay so here as you can see and then here just click on this drop down icon then select windows components then here scroll down and search for the search folder and then click on the search folder now here you need to search for prevent indexing when running on battery power to conserve energy as you can see this is the folder prevent indexing when running on battery power to conserve energy so just here double click on it so now here what you need to do is you need to just click on enable okay and then hit apply and then hit okay so the sixth step is open command prompt so here you can just search for command prompt okay and then here just click on run as administrator and then click on yes and then what you need to do is you need to type the following command that is currently showing in the screen so after typing the command then just press on enter and then it would say the operation completed successfully and then just close it so the seventh step is turn down screen brightness and turn off keyboard backlit if possible 
So to turning down your screen brightness, what you need to do is just click on your notification icon and then here you can just turn it down. Okay, you can just turn it down, turn down your screen brightness. So I am recording my screen right now. So maybe you can't see I am turning down my screen brightness properly. So if possible, just make sure you turn it down and then you also can turn off your keyboard backlit if possible. So to do that, what you need to do is here search for Windows Mobility Center. Windows Mobility Center and then click on open. And if your keyboard doesn't have a backlit, then you won't see any option here. So you can you don't need to do anything there. So in my case, you can see that I don't have backlit. So I will show you a couple of screenshots. So here, as you can see, if you have the backlit, then you would see something like keyboard brightness or keyboard backlit. So you need to just click on this option. Okay. So after clicking on this option, then you would see a window like this keyboard backlighting. So here you need to click on off. Okay. You need to click on keyboard lighting off. So the number eight or the last step in this video is sync email list. So to do that, what you need to do is just go to the settings. Just right click on your start menu here. Sorry, the left click and then just click on settings. So in settings, just click on accounts. So in accounts, just click on email and accounts. So here, if you have an email connected, then you would see your email account here. So if you didn't add any email to your Windows PC, then you don't need to follow this step. But if you see an email here, then just click on this email and then just click on manage. Now here just click on change mailbox settings. So now click on change mailbox sync settings. So now here just click on this drop down icon download new content and then here you can just set it to hourly or manually to according to your likings and then just click on done. So then just click on save. So after following all the steps properly, then make sure that you restart your computer. So a bonus tip for you guys is that if you are using your laptop for over a year or over two years, then make sure that you check your laptop's battery's health by a technician and if needed, then make sure that you change your laptop's battery because over time, the health laptop's battery's health get degraded and then you all of this method will not work okay so that's it guys hope you like this video if you do then please make sure that you hit the like button if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know that in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm match from tech match and i'm signing out mm -hmm.